Hello all, we are here for the lesson number 24 of this new section of the Varica training course. This is the section 5 called Printing and Plotting and this lesson has the same name also Printing and Plotting. So, we are going to see some topics regarding the, the printing or plotting if it depends on the device you have. Uh, to show you the definitions that we have to, to do in these, in these topics, um, I will open a sample drawing of, uh, from the standard installation of the program and for that I will come to the file menu, open and I will use the sample one drawing. The sample one has a 2D side that we are seeing now and has a 3D side, but let us focus on the 2D side. It is a very standard drawing with some projection, with some sections, dimensions, etc. A very standard 2D. So now I want to show you, still on the menu file, the command or the topic print and now I want to tell you these two options and you can choose print to system default printer okay it will open the print dialog box with all these options that we are going to see or if we come to the second option print to selected printer uh, you can choose from this uh, print list the device and in this case I will choose the PDF writer just to show you some options about what we are going to to check okay but for sure you could choose a printer or plotter that you have in your system so cut PDF writer okay and again we are on the same window as the previous option so uh, basically I told you you can use either a printer or a plotter and Varicad allows you to use um, devices from the Windows system which is quite normal these days in all the programs. So basically starting with this printing method what to print okay we have several options current drawing format if you remember the format was something that we defined a couple of lessons back uh, that is the format of the paper that we are going to make. We can come also to this option define rectangular printed area okay and if we choose this option we can come to definition by the rectangle or by the inserted format. If I come to the rectangle I can come here and choose whatever I want, open a window, I will open a window with it, but I could choose some partial look of the screen, but I will choose these things here. Uh, I can come to this option also, currently displayed area, okay, if you see that now my, these little lines that define the thing that I, the, the area that I'm printing, they are um, according to the screen to the zoom that I'm seeing okay so uh, it will be chosen it will be chosen the th what I'm looking for at this moment in, in my 2d environment uh, I could choose also all visible objects in 2d area and in this particular case for example if I had some objects around here or something um, and we can make a little test to, to show you, for example, let us make a, a circle outside. And if I, if I come to, to the same option, PDF Writer, what to print, OK, blah, blah, blah. Let us say all visible objects. And now you can see that, OK, it chooses all the objects that are di displayed even that they are outside of the format okay but I want to go to the option define rectangular printed area so by rectangle again open 
second point that's it so choose entities like this okay um, there are a couple of options also when we choose the current display displayed area on the zoom we can choose a zoom window and it will come here or a zoom aerial view and we can choose a smaller window something like that let us try again like corners something like this whatever you want okay it's no problem now regarding the orientation we can choose something automatic that is what uh, in principle it is what is uh, interesting for us but since sometimes the results are not good so we we should try either <coughs> sorry the portrait or landscape uh, which are different orientations of the sheet for example regarding the portrait this is something that you could that you could define as the shorter side of the printed area being parallel to the longer side of the sheet okay and on the landscape if you don't get good results with this one try this okay but in principle if you choose automatic it, it will be good okay um, now regarding the printed sheet size uh, in my case my printer is a A4 printer so it's quite small but you can have all these kind of devices in the market uh, where you can have big sizes so so we can choose the massable possible format in my case is this it's A4 um, I can choose according to the drawing and in this case exceeds the printer size because we have a A3 format so it cannot be or I can choose a format from the list okay and I can choose a different one uh, maximum okay we can have also options for the scaling and on the scaling we can have this no additional scaling uh, we can define a scale and this this uh, little option here it's defined and we can have a, a different scale or we can do this fit to, to sheet size and in this case um, it will not look to the to the scale of the objects but it will maximize the space of the paper you have and it will fit the entities inside okay we, we will see a little about this when we try to to make the the printing uh, file now you have all the things here or all the the options here and we have a little a couple of other things very important by the way but um, we can have the, regarding the thickness because if you see here uh, all the lines have the same thickness and if we are doing this kind of printing black and white printing which is the majority of the technical drawings uh, it's, a, it's a little bit confusing uh, if you have everything on the same thickness if you have colors then okay you take this out uh, and if you have colors now you can see the dimensions in blue the parts in, in in black and all the things you want so it will be clear but if you don't have that option so then it can be a little confusing if you if you choose to 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 print or plot your your paper in color then you can use these two options the thickness assigned uh, assigned to the color or to the printed color okay and this is for example something like this um, you can say the displayed color in my drawing is blue and I want to print it on another for example in brown okay you can you can change this correspondence here and why to, to do this because uh, this is basically the same okay but we want to play a little with the thicknesses even that is in black and white or this option here 
because we can have this thing like uh, saying blue will be displayed when printed in this thickness in the red on a single line this dark um, green on a single line etc down here okay and this is very important because I will turn it to black and white because I don't have any other option because um, this it will make you a, a more clear drawing and uh, you can see this if I try to make um, a PDF I will do the print now let us wait a couple of seconds I will give a name sample a for example uh, it will wait a couple of seconds and I think it's down here so if you see the drawing I produced then then you can see that the lines are not on the on the same thickness you see that the contour lines are a little thicker than for example the dimensions and the other things the axis lines and so on things are not at the same dimension you, you can see more clear in this uh, view here so if we if we try to make a new one for example let us go the same PDF okay uh, okay by rectangle let us do the same with the same choice um, and if we take this out and say thin line okay this one thin line okay thin line okay and we make all these with no thickness so okay and I will make the same print okay now I'll say sample B and it should be done so let us look and if you can see I will open the other one also sample A so if you look this sample A and comparing the sample B you see the thickness it's quite different so here it's a, a kind of test but here you don't sorry here you don't understand what is contour what is dimension here it's more clear so what is interesting and important is to understand that uh, you can have the definition you want on this okay let's open it again you can have what definition you want it's not it's something from your choice regarding the colors you use and regarding what is good for your look or what you think it is good for what you are doing but maybe in one or two tests that you uh, make one or two drawings and see the thickness of the lines you will reach some conclusion then you will you will have uh, a good result okay so basically these are the options to to see uh, we did not see these options down here but basically you see that the print goes to the it will execute the the printing itself the cancel it will come out uh, if we make um let's do this again let's try here no problem uh, if we make the preview it will open a window showing on the on the drawing i have what is going to be printed so you see this purple uh, rectangle showing what is going to appear in my in my paper sheet so from here i could go to the print also or go back with the cancel and basically uh, I have some some possibilities with the printing to file properties but I need to have some some uh, printers prepared to support 
these options. It's not my case in particular. Um, I have also um, some possibilities which basically are the same that we've seen here, um, which is the thickness definition that you we've seen on the on the dialog box of the printing, the color definition that we see also, and when we try to print to files, we have a couple of options um, that are basically uh, the names if we want to give some names or use by default uh, and basically uh, some options regarding the, the use of uh, true type fonts from operating system you can choose a printing device okay we have a couple of options but uh, I think uh, basically with the normal standard dialog box you can print I would say 99% of, of the things you have either to a normal device printer or plotter or to a PDF which is quite uh, convenient and quite normal these days because of the of the size and because of the size of the file for sure and the possibility to, to send these through emails through the internet quite easy okay so this is uh, the end of this lesson 24 i hope to see you on the next lesson